Hey everyone, this is Kirk here again at OptionAlpha.com and in this video tutorial, I want to just walk through how bad the industry is at picking stocks and, and really we know that investors are pretty bad stock pickers, but let's go through a lot of data here and just show you what the biggest companies on the planet, the biggest investment firms that are out there and how accurate they actually pick winners. And so again, this really proves the point that neither you nor I have any clue where the market's going. And look, I used to be in this industry, and it's not has nothing to do with what we talk about here with probabilities and with odds analysis and with statistics. It has nothing to do with that. When you're in the industry, it more has to do with how many research reports do you want to sell, what are your expectations from the company, and then you straight line everything out from there. And it's really just a bunch of garbage in my opinion. And so I want to show you again what the biggest investment companies out there do and how accurate they've been as far as picking stocks directionally. So we're going to start off with Goldman and we're going to run through a bunch of these really quick. But I really think that Goldman is probably one of the, I mean, if not the biggest, most premier investment bank on the street. And they have such influence, such uh, great access to the markets and information. And even though they have such great information and such great access, their accuracy, as judged by thefool.com, which does a great job of tracking all this so you guys can go there and check it out, their accuracy is just 46.77%. So they're less than 50%. As we go through here, Kiplinger, uh, another big one, a lot of people subscribe to their reports, accuracy, 40% accuracy. Uh, Jim Cramer, no surprise here, 44.56% accuracy, just about 50-50. Raymond James, a little bit better than 50-50, 53.75% accuracy. Uh, when we go to Bank of America, a little bit better than 50-50, 50% accuracy. Uh, going to Wells Fargo, 51% accuracy. Going to Credit Suisse, 49% accuracy. Barclays, 49% accuracy. BB&T Capital Markets, my alma mater, 49% accuracy. JP Morgan, 50% right on the dot. Merrill Lynch, one of the best ones at 56, so just above 50-50, but still basically, you know, one every two picks that they make is bad. SunTrust, 48%. FBR Capital Markets, 48%. Deutsche Bank, 48%. Piper Jeffries, 46%. And Jeffries, 47%. So again, what's so incredible here, and again, I just went through just some of the handful of ones that I picked out as far as the bigger, better investment banks on the street, and you can see that in nearly every single case, they were horrible at picking the direction of the market. And you can see their accuracy ratings are right around 50%. And again, they make hundreds of thousands of predictions on where stocks are going to go and full tracks everything, and you don't need even need to subscribe to them to know that it's all 50-50. So again, the point of this video here is that as a community, we are absolutely horrible picking the direction of a future stock. We are no better than 50-50. So when you go in and you make your trades, it's much more important that you make high probability trades based on statistics that you know a stock won't breach over a long period of time. And that's the way that you beat this market is by making those higher probability trades, not by picking the direction of the stock. As always, I hope you guys really enjoy this. And again, this was a quick little video, but really, really powerful takeaways in here. Please share this video online on Facebook, on YouTube, on Twitter. Help spread the word about what we're trying to do here at Option Alpha. As always, if you have any comments or questions, please add them right below. And until next time, happy trading.